Nationally, the debt ceiling political controversy has been all over the news. Coyote News' Kathleen Suri is live in the muck with political science professor Elizabeth Smith, who's been following the issue. Kathleen? Thanks, Courtney. Congress has officially reached a deal to reopen and keep the government open and to also raise the national debt ceiling just 24 hours before they would have defaulted on government loans. We're here to get an expert take on this issue. Thanks for being with us today, Betty. My pleasure. Now, can you explain to us what exact deal was made and what kind of is going to happen next? Sure. Well, the government, as you know, um, has been shut down um, since October 1st when um, the new fiscal year, the new federal fiscal year began and uh, we had no budget. Congress had not passed a budget, had not been able to come to an agreement. And so since then, we uh, only essential federal workers have been able to work. So the agreement today was um, to continue uh, keeping the government open until January 15th, hopefully giving Congress a chance to come up with um, a, a budget deal. But for now, we're going to you know, basically continue the uh, government on what's called a current services basis, that is to say last year's budget at this year's costs and expenses. So, um, so that's one part of the deal. Um, the second part of the deal is to raise the debt ceiling, which was really the most critical um, element of this afternoon's deal. And they're going to raise the debt ceiling high enough to last the U.S. until February 7th, at which point, hopefully, there'll be another deal. But in the meantime, um, U.S. currency has really lost a lot of um, co the confidence of the international trade community um, with very serious consequences. And so for short-term borrowing now, the U.S. has to pay three times the interest rate that it did just a few weeks ago. Um, so uh, topping all of this off was a deal that by mid-December, um, House and Senate negotiators are going to come up with a long-term deal to um, decrease the U.S. debt. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Once again, that was Betty Smith, political science professor. Live from the muck, I'm Kathleen Suri. Thanks, Kathleen.